I was just having a quick look at the variants that are um, the Omicron variants that are take, taking off in Australia, or the new ones that are coming. This one seems to be growing a lot, this um, BA2.3, and I believe it comes, it comes from the UK. This one here is growing a fair bit, BA2.10.1. It's mainly in the state of uh, Western Australia, where it's, uh, it's, it's about, its prevalence is about 70 per, per cent. We, so we can check on that. But um, these other ones don't seem to be doing much, like BA.2.3.3. Uh, um, this, is, this is one I've never seen before, this BA.2.3.3. Uh, um, um, it's not even listed. Um, Okay, it's not in the list. Actually, a lot of them aren't in the list. So the number of Omicron variants has probably exploded to um, around, I would guess, around 200. Uh, last time I wrote something about it a couple of weeks ago, I might have said um, that it was uh, 74. But I think you'll find in the next few days, it'll be about 200. See, in Western Australia, um, the most dominant variant is BA.2.10.1, and it's about 67 per, per, per cent. This other one is brewing here, which is this one, BA2.10, that doesn't die away totally. And you never know with these other ones, they may, they may come to the fore later. Uh, BA.1, I think, is dying off. BA, so there's BA2.3, so that's coming as well. And that, one I believe is the most prevalent in the United Kingdom. So let's have a quick look at the United Kingdom. United Kingdom. The United Kingdom um, has BA.2 and Growing very quickly is um, is another new one, BA.2.23. Okay, now that's that's a new one that's not on the list yet. This one here is still growing a little bit, BA.2.3, um, and BA.2.9. Let's have a look at the United States. United States, oh yeah, I can get it just there, United States, so I think it's over there, it's BA.2.9, uh, so that one is growing very quickly, BA.2.12.1, this one's kicking along a bit, this is BA.2.9, um, which was the one, which was the one in the UK, and and it's in Australia. Uh, the BA.1 variants have dropped off. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen to BA.2.10. Um, re remember, in Western Australia, it's BA.2.10.1. It's actually more, it's more infectious. That may kick off. So in the USA, it seems to be BA.2.12.1. Let's have a look at Israel. Israel. So in Israel, it's mainly BA.2. But kicking in is this one, BA2.9. So that, that seems to be coming along. And BA.2.31, that's, that's another new one as well. I mean, that's not on the list yet. And you also got BA2.3. So BA2.9, BA2.3 are the ones to watch. And maybe BA.2.31, BA. .2 .31, BA 
2.33 and BA 2.23. Uh, let's look at um, let's look at Denmark. Denmark was one of the first places to get the um, Omicron variant. And they haven't got much going on, but BA2.9 doesn't seem to be overpowering BA.2, but it has grown, you know, in the last 120 days or so, this is 60 days. Um, so BA2.9 may um, take off there. They may start to find the other ones that will come that will come from the UK. Like the BA2 dot, was it 23 or 33, whatever. Um, where else can I look? Um, let's look at Germany. Germany probably keeps a pretty good record of things. They've done a half a million. No, no, that's not the not UK. Germany. What's wrong with this stupid site? Germany, Germany, give me the report. So in Germany, it's BA 2.9. That's that's the most infectious one that's moving into there, overtaking BA 2, and BA 1.1 is basically gone. So. Um, any other place we we'll look at? Um, let's look at France. France has done 300,000 odd sequences. Seems to be doing it like every week. They'll sequence a few and then just leave it. So, yeah, that's why the data looks so choppy. Okay, in France, BA 2.9 is actually growing. BA.2 is um, is is falling away with respect to that. And these other ones, I can't see much happening of these other ones. I don't see anything. BA 2.3 is there. BA 2.3, there we go. 2.3, it's BA 2.9 in there. BA 2.9 is in there as well. So the, I'm oh, sorry, I said that one's the one that was taking off. Okay. Okay, I'm now looking at the number of cases in each of those countries that I looked at, which were Australia, Germany, France, the United States, United Kingdom, and Denmark. So Australia's per relative to the population, Australia's on, you know ahead of the rest. Um, then we look at the deaths. Deaths, we see that the UK is ahead. Australia's starting to increase. That lump you see there in Australia, that has to do with them uh, not counting about 300 deaths before and suddenly adding them in one day, then it's averaged over seven days because it's just a running seven day average. Um, so the UK uh, has increase its deaths a little bit. Um, Germany, Germany's pretty steady, maybe going down a bit. Australia is steadily going up slowly. France is steady, maybe going down a bit. Denmark seems to be going down. Uh, United States seems to be going down. Let's look at the case fatality rates. The case fatality rate, which is number of deaths divided by the number of cases, and the UK seems to be right up there, but I think they're not counting their cases properly. The same with Denmark, and it may also be the same same in the USA as well. Australia seems to be doing quite well, um, but they might be overcounting their cases. So. Um, in any case, I'd imagine Australia is going to start to, start to go up there as well. Same with Germany and France.
Uh, look at the vaccination rates while I'm here. Vaccinated by dose, doses by type. What's this? So these um okay per hundred people. So Denmark has um, a vaccination rate for two doses of 82.5 per percent, which is half of that. Australia's 85 percent. There's the booster, so 62 per, per percent have got the booster, and Australia's 52. But people are getting really weary, they're getting sick of all these, all, all these, you know, boosters. The other country I looked at was Israel. I forgot about Israel. So I want to just add Israel very quickly now to see what's going on in Israel. Israel is not as highly vaccinated as people think. Um, it's um, it, it's the vaccination rate is only 60, um, 69 per, per cent. Uh, they've had a fair bit of booster, 57. Um, let's go to the case numbers again because I missed Israel before. Israel, Israel is somewhere down there, not a lot. Uh, deaths. Um, seem to be quite down. They seem to have got this this little lump here again, where they've miscounted the deaths, and then suddenly it's added them on, just like Australia did there. Um, let's look at the case fatality rate quickly. The case fatality rate of Israel seems to be quite low, although it's jumping around a bit. I don't know why it's jumping around. Maybe they're not counting cases again. Um, so the UK is a bit of a concern. A case fatality rate of Anything greater than 0 0.5 per, per cent is a worry. So I'm thinking these three countries up here are not counting all of their cases. People are not getting getting them tested. And so you're not getting getting as many cases. So the ratio of deaths to cases seems to be higher. But I think with um, Omicron that um, the uh, case fatality rate is fluctuating. Um, Get rid of a few of these countries. Is fluctuating. Denmark is oh, that's that's way too high. Was was Denmark was zero point zero five at one time. So I don't know if this growth is due to the new variants or them not counting cases. But that basically uh, um, just opened up the doors. Australia's recently opened up the doors. Its case fatality rate is around 0 0.1. It was it was around 0 0.05. At one time it's grown to 0 0.1. It's steadily growing. And Australia's basically re, just relaxed all of its re, uh, restrictions on COVID. There's no masking, you know, um, so stuff like that. So I'll expect this to go up. Okay, the last thing I want to look at is excess deaths. Um, the UK and the USA and France had a lot of excess deaths at the start of the pan, start of the pandemic in early 2020. They were trying to hide all the deaths; they weren't counting them all, and that also happened in um, late 2020 as well. The one that's standing out here at the moment, moments Australia. They haven't given us the data for the last um, for the last four months or so, and it was going up. And Australia is quite unusual because um, because it was uh, negative in um, 2020. That's because we didn't have the flu. But then come um, 2021, it seems to have gone up. So I'm not sure if this is due to the um, vaccine. The deaths are not counting, counting the vaccine. Uh, then it went down again, um, and now it's rising very sharply. I mean, remember we're not showing the data for the last four months. It's still going up, and we've got an excess death uh, of about 25 per, per cent and rising. 